Future Hollywood Brown jersey in the building. And you know just what I mean. You two team keep it clean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, gotta made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven, right and graven. Whoever got the flag, then I'm so YouTube team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And today, well, I don't know when you're watching this, but today the Ravens held a presser that featured Lamar Jackson, that featured John Harbaugh, that featured Chuck Clark, and they each had very interesting things to say, but it also featured one Hollywood Brown. And before we get into some of the different things he said and the very interesting things that he said, I got to give a shout out to y'all and I hope that y'all are doing very well. I love y'all, Team Keep It Clean. Thank you for checking out the Team Keep It Clean podcast. Uh, thank you for supporting this channel the way that you do. Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Appreciate y'all. Shout out to anybody that's ever donated, whether it be through Super Chat or through Cash App or PayPal, whatever. Thank you for everything that y'all do. Anybody that's ever watched a video, commented on a video, told your friends, family about the channel, thank you. I appreciate y'all a lot. Special shout out to my guy, Garth West. Shout out to my guy, Garth West. I appreciate you. Shout out to you. Shout out to your wife. Shout out to your entire family, man. Love y'all. Appreciate it big time. My guy, Garth West, a couple of months ago, he sent this. Well, it's going to soon be a Hollywood jersey because this is going to be added to it soon enough. But he sent me this uh, autographed Joe Flacco jersey. It's uh, the autographs on the back. Um, he didn't have to do that. He didn't need to do that. And, and it's not only an autograph jersey, but an autographed Super Bowl jersey. So I appreciate that they uh they stitched the uh the Super Bowl patch on the jersey and Flacco autographed it. I don't even remember how he said he got all that worked out, but he did, and it doesn't even matter. I still appreciate it big time, man. Thank you for that. Thank you for being willing to do that, man. Straight up. Um, now somebody who this jersey number will be representing very well. It actually represents him now because he already made the switch. Is Hollywood Brown, and in the presser today. That was the first question that he was asked. Hollywood, why did you do it now? You could have waited until next year and you wouldn't have had to spend a dime. You would not have had to spend a dime because, you know, if anybody wants to change their jersey numbers this year, anybody that was in the NFL last year, then they have to pay for all the jerseys that are in stock that have their number on them. They got to pay for all of that. So Hollywood said, OK, cool. I'm going to pay for all of that. And he changed his number. So uh, they asked, why did, why did he do it? He said, because he don't know what's going to happen next year. He doesn't know what's going to happen next year. He didn't feel like waiting until next year, and he wanted to just do it. So he did it, and he did it, and he got it. So shout out to Hollywood getting number five. And again, that is the number that he wore back in his college days. Now, um, he spoke about T. Martin and Keith Williams, uh, and he said that those guys are really uh, pushing the wide receivers. They're really pushing them so they can get the most out of them. And that's what we expect. We know that uh, both T. Martin and Keith Williams, they have a nice, beautiful resume. But now uh, it's time to up that resume. And it's time to take a team that's not known for wide receivers at all, whatsoever. It's time to take that team and really push them to the next level when it comes to their pass catchers. So we'll see how that goes. Um, now, they asked about his goals. What are your goals, Hollywood? What are you trying to get a thousand yards? Trying to get ten touchdowns? What are you trying to do, Hollywood? He said the goal is the Super Bowl. That's it. The goal uh, is the Super Bowl. He said he he doesn't have any other goals that he could think of. Just the Super Bowl, and that's it. That's all he wanted to talk about. That's all that he thought about. That's it, Super Bowl. And he said uh, all the work that comes with it. That's what he wants. If it ain't about the Super Bowl, then he don't want it. Hey, I say. Hey. <laughs> I'm with it, my friend. Um, another thing that he talked about, uh, he was asked about all the time that he has with Lamar Jackson and, and how that impacts their uh, on-field chemistry and their on-field relationship. And he said with all the extra time that he spends with Lamar Jackson, that helps them get a better feel for each other when it comes to rapport and on-the-field chemistry and whatnot. Like, it, Lamar will know where Hollywood needs to be and he'll throw the ball there. Hollywood knows where he needs to be. And he'll go get the ball when it's thrown there. It just allows them to really get a better feel for each other uh, for end games. Because when you have that feel for each other, you can see it. Because you obviously know, like, Hollywood is the, the, the receiver that gets the most targets. Him and Mark Andrews. Those are the guys who Lamar trusts. Like, these guys could be double covered. And Lamar will see that. And he'll throw it to him. 
He could have other guys that, but anyway, we don't even need to get into that. So it, it, it's helped build their trust and grow their trust uh, that much more, which is a beautiful thing. Um, he said that uh, they're, the wide receivers are all excited to work with each other. And one part I really like, he said they're excited to compliment each other. I see what you did there, Hollywood, and I love it. Because that's exactly what we want this Ravens receiver room to do. We want them to compliment each other. And we don't, we're not talking about the compliment like, hey, wow, man, that's a really nice looking jersey you got there. Oh, man, hey, I really like your game day socks. Oh, man, that helmet you got? Wow, that thing fits like a charm. No, not that compliment. The compliment he's talking about is to where this receiver helps this receiver look better doing this. That receiver helps this receiver get open because he's causing a distraction. This, they, they benefit off of each other's play. And that's what we're really hoping this offense does this season. And they sort of make that shift. They hit that stride. They, they get that momentum and they keep it going throughout the entirety of the season. And then in the postseason uh, as well. Um, he said that uh, he was asked about from Aditi Kinkobawa. Now, Aditi, she's, shout out to my guy Josh, uh, but Aditi, the reporter, she's sneaky because she used to be a reporter for the Steelers for a long time years ago. And over the past couple of years, though, she's been reporting for the Ravens or on the Ravens. She's been there. I don't know if she moved there or something, but she has been there uh, reporting on the Ravens and just, I'm like, whoa, hold up. Are you secretly still working for the Steelers, Aditi? We want to know. But anyway, she asked a question, and look at her trying to stir the pot up. But, but she asked a question about EDC's comments about uh, being insulted by other people saying that they felt like the Ravens needed to make more moves at the wide receiver position. And Hollywood said that he, he lets the outside noise stay right there, outside. Said he doesn't let all the outside stuff get in, uh, but he said it's up to the players to get it right from within. He said it's up to them to fix it. Um, and then uh, Jameson Hensley asked if Hollywood and Lamar ever talk about Lamar Jackson's contract. He said no. They talk about winning the Super Bowl. They don't talk about no contract. And I mean, like, nah, uh, yeah, you, you get it. Um, but my favorite part of this interview, favorite part about Hollywood's part of the presser, was when he was asked about uh, his expectations for the passing offense this year. Now, of course, we know last year Hollywood, he got frustrated. And he let those frustrations be known uh, via Twitter. We all know the famous tweet. But he let it be known. And then even after that, he's, he struggled a little bit here and there. Um, and he even acknowledged it, too. He said he got to clean up the drops. He said he knows that. Um, he, now he acknowledged it on one of his Twitch live streams a, a few weeks ago. But with Hollywood, um, he asked, what, what's, what are your expectations for the passing offense this year? Mr. Marquise, what, what, do, you expect, what, what do you think you guys are going to do? And he said that his expectations are to score a lot of points. He is looking forward to scoring a lot of points. That's what he expects his passing offense to do. And then the best part, he said, whether that's with the most amount of passing attempts or the least. And we know that as a wide receiver, there's no way that you want to win with the least amount of passing attempts, right? Because that means you can't shine. But for him to publicly put it out there, hey, this is whether we got the most, most attempts or the least attempts. In my eyes, this, uh, this shows me that, <coughs> excuse me, he was letting it be known. I'm just, I'm just ready to win. I'm ready to win, and I'm ready to contribute, whatever it takes. And this let it be known, too, that I ain't got no problem with Greg Roman. I ain't got no problem with him. So I'm ready to just get this thing going, to get this thing moving. However we do it, let's do it. Let's get it rocking, and let's push forward. And I love that. I love that. I saw somebody in the comment section say that um, it seems like Lamar Jackson and, and Hollywood Brown they're both really maturing in front of all of our eyes. And yeah, they are. And because you, you got to think about these guys, when they come into the league, they're young. Very, very young. They could be 20, 21 years old, 22, super young. 
And you got to remember too, because some people might be like, well, 20, 21, 22, that, that's a grown man right there. Well, by age it is, but experience differs, especially when you've just been playing college ball your entire life. I mean, excuse me, not your entire life, but for your entire adulthood. Because you don't go through the same experiences that somebody in the, uh, the regular world would go through. And not that that's a bad thing, but it just changes how your life transpires. It tra changes how your life goes. It changes all of that. So you don't live a normal life and you may not mature like a quote unquote normal person would. Even though like what is a such thing as a normal person? I don't even know what that is. But you get what I'm saying. So you're going to have a different path to your maturity level and your experience than somebody who's not around football 24-7 does. So with that being said, you really got to give it to these guys just based off of their interview skills alone, just based off of their press conference skills alone, because it takes a lot. So shout out to all those fellas. Shout out to the Ravens for getting them right. Shout out just to everybody, man. Special shout out to Hollywood. We looking forward to him this year, big time. Y'all already know we are. Seeing him out there in that number five, making plays, doing his thing. And we just hoping that he has, and just the entire team, they have a lot of success. They have the most success. More success than any of the other 31 teams out there. But we'll see how this thing goes. So shout out to Hollywood. Shout out to all the receivers, the whole receiver room, because there's going to be some competition in there. Light it up. We out.